Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome back to the RDI campaign on Legendary Difficulty. In the previous few episodes we defeated the Roman Empire at Ariminum and in Velathri. The Etruscan League took over Rome itself and Rome is down to one single settlement and that is Neapolis. Rome is screwed in this campaign ladies and gentlemen. We also have Iada, Delminium and Epidamnos. We have a full province with Illyria. And before we continue, a couple of things that I'd quickly like to mention. The first thing is I'm using a new mod in this campaign. As you can see, the map is different. It's the map mod. I will put it in the description. Uh, it makes the map look much, much better than the default map in this game. The second thing is, you might have noticed already, my audio quality has had a couple of troubles in the previous few episodes. But in this episode, I'm hoping it will be better. Basically, it was my birthday on the 17th of June. And my parents kindly bought me a new... Uh, microphone it is the blue yeti i've also got one of those screen guard or pop filters on it as well so let me know what the sound is like in this episode if you think i need to be a bit louder a bit quieter if there's any buzzing or anything like that just let me know in the comments below i would really appreciate it but anyway back to this campaign and we are going to continue by i think we need to click end turn actually but we're just going to quickly check everything so the sons of samutios on our borders Lots and lots of armies on our borders. Everybody wants a piece of us, which isn't good. I think the, uh, let me see, Epirus, I think. Let's see, Epirus, yes, we are trading with Epirus, and they like us the same with the Etruscans. I want to keep both of them on my side, if possible, for as long as possible. I'd like to take out Rome my, myself, take out Neapolis. So I might actually take my army from from here to there. I can probably hold Velathri with this army. And take this, although, saying that, these are mercenaries, so I probably don't want to use them. Two morale for all units, that'll be good. And then we'll go for one for cunning. And we will be clicking the end turn button. Oop, we're on the verge of bankruptcy, that's okay. I don't mind that at all. I'm also going to be starting a second legendary campaign on this channel. I will be playing as Egypt. It's a faction I've wanted to play as for a long time. I'm going to be using Radius as well. I'll probably be using all the same mods that are in this campaign, in that campaign. And I might use one or two other uh, mods as well for that campaign, but I will list them all in the description and I will go through them in the first episode. And I'm hoping to have that episode up sometime later this week, so probably in two or three days' time. But anyway, back to this campaign. Sabotage, Postuma, Scapula. Oh my god, right. Enemy wounded, Dolly loss, bankrupt. Rebellion imminent, oh my goodness gracious me. Raise a fleet at Ariminum. Dealt with one rebellion already. We have, well, we're on the verge of a second rebellion. The Etruscans haven't taken Neapolis yet, and I need to change my buildings, but I can't do that because I have no money. I have a spy, I can't really do much with him. Well, champion. And I'm going to move my champion for some military training. That will help my experience go up even faster. Um, this army can go back into Ariminum doesn't really change my my status with this province though does it I don't think so yep rebellion in next turn yeah I need to keep my uh, well, we will actually get rid of the cav oh god wrong button guys whoopsie boom 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 here we go disband them there we go we got money now for the next turn at least and we ha are stationed in Araminum I'm trying to select where the best place for me to attack would be. Maybe it would be best to go for the Veneti. Take that so I'm actually landlocked around here. I don't want to take on the Etruscans yet. Uh, not the Etruscans. Epirus. I don't want to take on the Etruscans either because they like us. Carthage. I don't know. What to do? What to do? I don't really want to go inland too much because there's so many strong Gaul tribes around here. That it wouldn't work very well against me. It wouldn't work very well for me, I should say. Hmm, huh, what to do? Not much I can do this turn without any money, so I will just be clicking the end turn button for now. Ooh, and this Rome, are they going to attack me? Are they going to attack me? No, they're not. Damn it. I would have liked Rome to have attacked me, have another battle with them, and try to wipe them out myself. They are still holding on with their one settlement, though. Neapolis. I think Neapolis was quite a key city in the Spartacus Rebellion as well. Pretty sure they they took Neapolis or they at least fought there. Not quite sure, but I 
think I think that was the case. Uh oh. They are my rebels, the Veniti have seemed to have pushed them out of out of the way for me, so thank you, Veniti. <laughs> And that we have our rebellion, so we will be having a battle in this part. Mission fail, raise a fleet. Oh, do you know I had a mission? Oopsie, political intrigue. How big is this rebellion? Only four units. We are on good ground in now with everyone. Have a fleet which we can use, so we can bring a fleet forward. My general? Oh, wait a minute. Let's just check the event messages, because I think I lost my general. Uh, let's see, outrage, enemy, treat withdrawn, political intrigue. Promotion secured. Guys, what's gone on? I've lost my general. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Oh no. Don't you just hate it when that happens? I could take Bright off today, but I'm happy to stay at Velathri for now. In case Rome becomes available. And the Romans are nearby as well. Sneaky, sneaky little guy. So, what we're going to do is we have to raise another army here. Gentius, Sepidinius, Borea. We will take Borea. Oh, we can only raise a fleet. Oh my goodness gracious. Raise a fleet. At least we can hold the settlement there. Oh, wait a minute. Is my army in here? Army view. Ah, right. I've worked out, guys. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> what is this? This mayhem. Something's going on. Don't like it. Right, we have some kind of situation here, guys, where things are not going well for me. Um, yeah, we just have to wait and see how we do against this rebellion here. I don't want to lose our minimum, especially to Latin rebels. Don't want re don't want Rome to become too strong. Okay, that's that there. Uh, Epidamnos is quite strong, I think. Got a pretty decent army here with lots of units. Just gonna have a quick look at the political situation. So Epirus, Tuscan, Zabrucci. I would like to get some kind of trade or non-aggression part with these you factions. They're not interested though. That's not good. Hmm, what about the Insubures? Greetings. Now speak plainly. Nope, they're not happy either. Oh, that's a shame. It's a big shame. I imagine the rest will be the same. Tribali are actually trading with us, so that's good. Score DC would be the best one to take. I think they've only got the one province there as well. And they have a wall settlement, which will prove very handy indeed. And I think the score DC have um, a settlement which we actually need to take. Let's see. Score DC. Thrace. Is that part of Thrace? Uh, Syria? No. I'm just going to have a quick look at this, guys. Go and see, see what they... It would be part of Pannonia. Do we need Pannonia? We do. Ah, so we would need it for cultural victory. And I think... Yep, we need it for cultural victory anyway. So we may actually go there and try to take this settlement. They have a garrison of 13, though, so it, it will be difficult. Plus they have a full stack. <laughs> I have faith. I have lots of faith. We're going to take this army here in that case. We are going to carry on building up our army with Ballista. And we can't afford anything else apart from Spearmen. I don't like Spearmen, so we're just going to go with the one unit of Ballista for now. This army could probably do with a unit of Spearmen, though, because we need them to defend this. Oh, actually, take them off for a second. I want a quick look over here in Italy. What can we recruit in Italy? We can get some Spearmen. I probably need them here, so we will go for a Spearman unit there. Technology-wise, we will be going for... Let's see. We'll go for the Shallow Keel, because that gives us minus 2% recruitment cost for all ships, plus minus 2% upkeep cost for all ships. So we'll go for that. We'll take four turns, and we will be clicking the End Turn button once more. And hopefully we can get a battle in this episode. I like to try and get one battle per episode, if possible. It will most likely be that rebellion... Which we, we actually fought a rebellion in the last episode. But I think what happened was that somebody used a spy. And that spy, unfortunately... Um, oh, shit. Now come the ravens. Okay, we have war, guys. We have war. I'm assuming they're going to attack us. 
Oh god. I'm assuming that that spy has probably had a go at the population in Italy and that helped the rebellion form. And we have a big, big battle on our hands. So the Blades have nearly 3,000 men. They have lots of Levy Freemen, lots of mercenary Celtic warriors. They have some light horse and they have some Celtic slingers. We have some Ballista. We have lots of garrisons and we also have a small garrison fleet. They outnumber us. Hopefully we can do well though, so I will see you all on the battle map. Okay guys, welcome back to the battlefield. I'll click the start button and straight away I'm taking my general up the left flank. I'm going to be taking my mercenaries, not my mercenaries, my slingers forward. My ballista is going to be aiming straight for their general, straight for the oath sworn. My ships are going to be disembarking right here and helping out. We're going to be quite quick in this battle guys, we're going to try and swarm them as quickly as we can. Let's get a quick reload on. Slingers, go for the Celtic Warrior straight away. Battle ready. Go for the light horse. Oh, no, actually not. Let's go for the. Let's pull back. Let's pull back. Go for the light horse there. Pull her up brown and go for the light horse there. Quickly going for this. Thursday General. He has lost some men. That's good. Attack. Quick reload. Attack. Take out the horse quickly. I'm going to keep them here for now. We might be able to flank them actually with them. Where's the calf? Where's the calf? Lost lots of Oathsworn. That's good. May have to pull the general out actually. I will because they have lots of free men. They won't be good for my general. Pull him away. Try to reform somehow. The general's down to 111. That's good. Lost nearly half his men. The aim is to try and hurt the general as best as we can. And then hopefully we can do a lot of damage. Right, let's turn and hit their horses here. Let's give them a war cry. Inspire our men. Catch some of them up here. Take a few of them out hopefully. While we attack them there. I'm going to now flank with these men. My tribesmen can now come out from hiding. They're not needed there. Slingers are going to come out as well and help me to reinforce there. Uh oh, General's getting beaten by her. Pull him out quickly. Quickly. No, 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 don't lose my General. He's a good General. Don't lose him. <gasps> Damn, I lost my General. That's not good at all. Where's their General to? Down to 79. That's good. Damn it. I needed that, that horse unit then. This isn't going well, guys. This isn't going well at all charge them. I'm going to group block these. We're going to forcefully go towards them. Shit. They're going to take my capture point, so I need to come back around. Bring all these around. This hasn't gone very well at all, has it? Damn slingers. They're irritating. Go for the mercenary Celtic warriors. Ready for battle. Get them all in there. Get quick reload on. Two in there. Just bunch them all in. I'm hoping they can hold this for as long as possible. We have some ammunition left. Where's their general too? You only got 50 left, the general. We're still hitting him. We're still hitting them all together back here. Uh oh. Get the whip going. Let's get the tribesmen to charge in there now. If only. If only. Damn it. This is going terribly. We hunger for blood and battle. Bali star. I was hoping if I could kneecap the general then we might be able to win this, but that's not going to work, I don't think. Lost too many men, we're going to lose them all now. They just spammed everything into the centre by here. The Bruci have betrayed us, they have declared war on us, and we have lost the settlement by looks of things. We've lost all our ammunition now as well. 
And there we go, we've lost this battle apart from the blister. Oh, and they're gone now. Decisive defeat will end the battle there. That was very unfortunate indeed. The Bruchi absolutely annihilated us in that battle. Didn't get that many kills. The Ballista did quite well. It took out 231 men. If I'd reacted a little bit quicker, maybe I could have won that. I don't know. 